All right, so we're going to be talking about the quadrants. Um, so I drew here, let me just back out so you can see a little better. I drew here the quadrants of the dentition for the permanent dentition. So here we're going to have the quadrant one, two, three, and four. And basically what we're doing is we draw, we draw a line between the arches. So here's a maxillary arch, mandibular arch, so that's our horizontal line. And then a vertical line right between the central incisors. So that divides it into fourths. So we have quadrant one, two, three, four, and we move in that clockwise position again, just like we do for regular numbering. So we number one through 16, 17 through 32. We're just dividing this up into four equal parts. So there's eight teeth in each quadrant, okay? So you will need to know how many teeth are in each quadrant, stuff like that, how many tooth types are in each quadrant, in each arch. That's the stuff that I kind of test on. But for right now, we'll just practice our quadrants. So if we take a look at our worksheet here, I've kind of filled out a few already. Um, let's continue this. So what quadrant is tooth number 25 in? So 25 we know is a central incisor. So here's 24 then 25 is over here in the lower lower right, so it's quadrant four. So we just put quad four. What quadrant is tooth number 32 in? We know 32 is the very last one on the right-hand side. Again, is quadrant four, okay? So it's our third molar, so quadrant four. What quadrant is tooth number three in? So we know tooth number three is probably up on the maxillary arch. It's one, two, three. Here's our first maxillary right molar. It's quadrant number one. Okay, and then we keep just we just keep going like that. So we'll do one more and then we'll get into sextant. So what is uh, tooth number or what quadrant is tooth number sixteen in? So now 16 is the very last tooth on the maxillary arch, so it's got to be on the left. And here is tooth number 16 is our third molar, so it's in quadrant number two. And just remember when you're looking at a person here, this is your right is their left, and your left is their right. So that's helpful. Something that I like to do is, you know, when I first get down to do, um, sit down to do a dentition exercises is draw a dentition out. And you're free to do that. I'm going to give you guys some paper when you take your tests. So basically you're drawing a mouth, divide it into, into quadrants, and then you can put your central, lateral, canine, premolar one, oops, premolar one, Premolar two, molar one, molar two, and molar three. And then you can number. And I would suggest doing this for the first few times. Oops, I mixed up here. Here's five, six, your lateral is seven, and then eight. And then we go all the way through 16. And then we drop down 17. 32 but you can draw label how you um, you know feel necessary and how you'll remember best so now we're going to talk about sextants sextants are just like quadrants but instead of four parts we're dividing the mouth into six parts and it's by uh, by tooth type so we have posterior anterior posterior posterior, anterior, posterior teeth. So I know our posterior teeth always has the chewing size, sides on it. So we have the grinding food type of tooth, which is the premolar and the molar. So these are all posterior teeth. Anything that cuts or tears, these are considered anterior teeth. So that's how we label them. We still label them. Here's our right side, right to left and then left to right, just like quadrants. So here's sextant one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And so we have molars through premolars in sextant 1, canine to canine in sextant 2, and then premolar again to molar is sextant 3. Same, same down here. Uh, molar to premolar, sextant 4. Canine to canine is sextant 5. Premolar to molar is sextant 6. So if we're going to do some of our exercises here, So we have what sextant is tooth number two in? So we know tooth number two is right on the right hand side, maxillary arch one, two. So we know it's going to be in sextant one. Okay. What sextant is tooth number four in? We're still relatively in the same kind of area. So we know our molar, our first molar is number three. Four is our second premolar. So this is going to be sextant 1 still. How about tooth number 10? So now we're getting into the anterior teeth. We know our corner teeth are 6 and 11, so we know that the um, lateral incisor on the left hand side is tooth number 10. That is in sextant 2. Okay. We'll do a couple more here. Sextant nine. I'm sorry. What tooth is sextant? Uh, or what sextant is tooth number 19 in? So now we know we're on the bottom arch because we only one through 16 is on the top. So we do 17, 18, 19. 19 is our first molar on the left hand side. We know it's in sextant four. It's a posterior tooth. It's going to be in sextant four. And then what sextant is tooth number 25 in? So we know 25 is a central. Here's 25 here. It is on the right hand side, uh, lower right here. So we know that this is still is an, all in an anterior sextant, is sextant number five. And that is quadrants and sextants.